Because he sometimes, he doesn't always go by strict, you know. Sometimes eagerness counts. Pen's right there, Pia. Oh, good. Is there enough light over there? Yeah, for there is for me. Eh? Thank you, though. That's great. I really want the camera to catch my old skin. Oh, no. That's okay. Thank you. I'm just going to see if I can get this going. Okay. Read it, Pierre? Yes, please. Okay. There's just one image in the dream. It's of an old sailing ship, like in the days of the three-masted sailing ships. In the bow of it is an American Indian. The other people on the boat are dressed like colonists or something in the sense of old-style clothing. He's dressed in leather pants, feather in the hair, and all that. And he's holding a spear as if he's about to cast it towards the prey. But the prey, the angle that you have, you're looking down at the Indian on the prow on the front of the boat, and there's a long spike going out from the nose of the boat. Should be nose. Pointing like one of those fish that have a horn on their nose. Very sharp and long. But the Indian is braced to throw his spear. And the creature he's throwing it at is a gigantic polar bear. I'm, and this is a thought, but I'm not even sure he saw the polar bear because of the angle of the... So I'm not sure. And that's one of the puzzles of the dream. Rather, he's ready for a prey to come into view. The polar bear is so big, his head is longer and wider than the Indian is. And you can see his whole body under the clear water of the ocean. So the boat is speeding along. Pierre, this, this polar bear is like three times the width of the ship, two and a half times as long as the ship, and it's right underneath the water, like within, say, three feet of the surface. <clears throat> so, and the water is very clear. So the boat is speeding along, the polar bear is swimming along underneath, and it looks like the Indian is about to throw his spear at the polar bear. The polar bear has a very knowing eye. He looks at me, the viewer. The polar bear seems to be looking back at him or at the endeavor, the spear throwing. I'm standing as if on a cliff, or another boat keeping pace. It's not in the dream where I'm standing. I say to the person with me, look at the size of that polar bear. I really can't see, it should say, how the spear is going to kill the polar bear since it's so big. My state of mind is I'm astounded at the size of the polar bear. Clearest state I've ever experienced, most powerful. I don't know if I move on from the idea the Indian is going. This was three separate recordings. I kept turning it off and turning it back on and adding to it as I was that same night, that same time. OK. Um, I don't know if I move on from the idea that the Indian is going to try to kill the polar bear. There was a second part of the dream. I originally don't originally know if it was a I, I know that there was a change, a relaxation in the Indian, a change of focus as he looked over at me. He was no longer so focused on killing the bear. Maybe he was let down. And the state of mind, the first word I want to put on it was, it was a big state of mind. As if in trying to give an account of it, you're trying to limit it. And a state of immense power, clarity, power and when I was trying to put a word on it, it was as if I was trying to capture it. It seemed very buoyant and powerful. The Indian was focused as if he was one pointed, waiting for the exact moment to strike, not yet seeing the prey and the huge polar bear was doing a forward stroke and he was in the gliding position of the stroke. He was looking back and I engaging, I don't know, the danger. It seemed there was recognition on the part of the Indian. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what are you going to do with her? You know, I don't know, Pierre. Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to do what you had suggested, like mm -hmm. capture the state. But when I was doing that, trying to put words on it, it was, it was really weird. It was like you have this big pillow and you're trying to pull it into a framework. And I didn't come up with but a few words. Mm -hmm. And I, wonder wh I wondered whether it was a failure that, that the Indian lost his focus. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if he really was trying to get the polar bear. Because like I said, his, the angle of his spear wasn't right if he really wanted to get the polar bear. But I don't know. It just seemed as a dream it had, was had a very powerful, positive effect on me. But I don't know what like to do what? with it. Like what? Clearing away of obstacles. More. Um, freedom. Fearlessness. Spirit. Fearlessness. Fearless. No fear. Spirit. No. No boundary, no limit. Those kind of good words. Does that seem like a good state? Like a gift. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, what, what, what are you going to ask yourself about the dream? Well, I wanted to know if there was a I, like I said, my first instinct is always to see if it's a failure or a success. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of my understanding what was going on, I didn't. So um, that could be considered a kind of failure. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Want to add anything? Or? Yeah, yeah. Kind of baffled me, Pierre, because there was such immense what was beauty. What like when the bear had a knowing eye? Um, like he could see me, see who I really was, and kind of an ironic, like, I see you over there. Mm-hmm. I wanted to say, I forgot something about, okay. I think, the state here, that it was a, this dream had immense beauty to it. Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, what was it like when you saw that he could see you the way you really were? What did that do to you? Well, it's kind of a thrill, actually. Hmm? Uh, kind of a thrill. Mm -hmm. Kind of a uh, kinship, maybe? Um, you know, a feeling of um, a kin or a bond, a communion, I think. Yeah, like somebody on the same path or... Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, and what was it like seeing that the bear was looking at him as well? Um, he didn't seem to be bothered by it, is my first answer. He didn't seem to say, oh my goodness, that person is going to throw his spear at me, but rather, hmm, as if he was willing to let whatever was fated take place or destinied in the, des in the fate of it, whatever was coming, he was willing to let that happen. Is that right? I feel sad when I say that. I feel sad when I say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the Indian, see, it, I, after I recorded the dream, I realized I hadn't recorded the transition for him. And then I tried to get back, and I don't, I don't know if I got it correctly. I do know that he did, that his, he wasn't intensely focused any longer. His vision wasn't forward. He was looking across where I was. That, that much I know. But you did enjoy the fact that he was focused on... Oh, originally, yes. Right. Just focused on his task. Very one-pointed, 
like nothing was going to interrupt his um, his his him in his state, hunting state. Yeah. 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 Uh, there he is, the hunting polar bear. Dun, da, dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. And uh, you said he, when he was no longer focused on killing the bear, he may have been let down. Yeah, like kind of like, like his body was no longer in that. Um, <clears throat> gave up. Yeah, gave up. Yep. No, no. It was kind of like you got me. Now I have to, I have to not do it. No. Um, you find it curious that there's no exchange between you two, between and you. Yeah. Well, he was quite a distance from me. He, no, he was a distance. Yeah. Yeah, like. But in the dream. In the dream, he was a mile away, yeah, or no, more. No, I mean, he was. No he was like this big. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Or. But you saw enough. Yeah, and it looked like he was looking at me. That yeah. was clear in the dream. What was it like when you saw that he was focusing as if uh, one pointed, waiting for the exact moment to strike? Well, I, I have to say it's, I admired the state because it did look like he was uh, willing to stay in that focus until he, his prey came into view. No, oh. no. Oh. There's a lot of admiration. A lot of him. admiration. Right through the whole dream. Mm. Right? Of the bear. Yeah, of the bear. Of the Andu, mm -hmm. right? Right? And uh, the action that's going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I like the fact that it was a three masted sailing ship. <laughs> uh, talk about that. Uh, well, I've always liked those ships, and I have a nephew who actually rode on some of the, you know, took passage on some of those voyages when they go from port to port, and he was up in the rigging and all that. I, that, I like those ships. I like the fact that they required an art to move them, you know, to get them from one place to another. I don't know. They seem beautiful to me. The sh ships yeah. like that seem beautiful to me. Yeah. Um, Required an art. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. No easy thing. People had to work together to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now, uh, what I'd like you to do is to read the dream again, all right? And I want you to substitute these things for it and tell me what's going on. Hmm. Okay. Try it with the first sentence. Okay. There's just one image in the dream. It's of a, a vehicle that required great artistry. That's right. Say it again. It's, a, it's something that required great artistry. Right. Right. And um, it's a trans it's a transport transporting that requires artistry. And in the bow of it is an American Indian. Hmm. Oh, a person of courage in yeah, the bow yeah, is someone yeah, who's yeah, courageous and focused right. and and a good hunter and one pointed, yes. One pointed, nothing would interfere with his although something ended up interfering with it. But nothing's supposed to interfere with that. No, go ahead. The other people on the boat are dressed appropriately for the ship, I think. Mm -hmm. Um he's dressed in leather pants, um, bare chested feather in his hair, so authentic to a tribe. So he's authentic and in his stance, in his equipment, and he's, he's courageous and like an ideal warrior maybe of no. that vintage, of that vintage. I have to ask you, are you familiar with Mopey Dick? Yeah, you know, when I saw this dream, I thought about that. Now, I have to tell you, I'm not familiar with Moby Dick, except that he chases the great white whale. That much I know. Oh, because? The harpoonists is being described that way. Oh wow! Hmm, I may have right. to. Interesting. 
Interesting. And there are no harpooners that are European. Really? What are they all Alaskan or something? No, no, different. Um, Native American yeah. tribes. Yeah. Yeah. Alaskan, wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Although now that you mention it, I can remember quotes from it where the harpoonist had an Indian name. That's yeah. my memory. Or yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because it's a parallel. Okay. Up to the point. Up to a Thank point. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Go ahead. Yes. Um, okay. So we got added to it, authentic. Yes. Right. One pointed. Nothing interrupts him. Mm -hmm. Right. And you admire that. You admire that. You, he, that state, and he's in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Kind of a state of excellence. So. Um, and as if he is hold, and he's holding a spear as if he's about to cast it towards the prey. But the prey, that's, I started to, that sentence. So I'm looking down on the Indian, I'm looking down at this excellent warrior, and he's in a great position to, to get, if he's after the bear, he's in a good mm, position. But the bear's not in a good position to be hit, which is yeah, also yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the Indian is braced to... When you're now reading it, we're going to make the, the qualities for the bear. Yeah, I tell you. Uh, go ahead. He's like, yeah, he's, uh, he se um, he's gigantic. He seems almost like a spirit animal, like a totem, because he's so huge. And the way he's gliding as if he's on a different plane to the boat, you know, as if he's in another reality, really. So, he's beautiful, he's powerful, he's not, I also, he doesn't fear, he doesn't seem to fear the spear. Go ahead. So, um, okay, so this gigantic, beautiful, powerful, cre knowing creature is swimming under the water, is moving fast at it, under his own power, and it looks like this hunter is about to throw his spear. Right, and so there's a moment of, of recognition, the bear looking at me, or seeing me. And okay, the, everything then that you're reading, dealing with a polar bear, you're going to substitute this. Right. Yes. That's right. Um, hmm. And while you're looking at that, you're experiencing this. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I have another copy, Joshua, if you want one. But, um... You can give one to Nancy too, if you would. Sure. Thank you. Okay. And knowing, knowing I. Yes. And see. Yeah. Hmm. It's a sense of communion. Uh huh. Right? There's a thrill. There's a kinship. There's a bond. Mm -hmm. That is your reaction to this. Mm hmm Right. Mm hmm Yes. I'm in wonder. I'm astounded. It's so yeah. incredible. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's just outrageous. Okay, so, okay. Hmm. So there is this moment when he's looking at me yeah. and looking. when, yeah, he's yeah, looking at... The this is right. Okay. He does both, yeah. This is he's looking at you. Uh huh. Right? Yes. Mm hmm. And this is when he's looking at him, right? This is his state of mind, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And uh, go ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's his state of mind. And then there's this sadness, this sadness here. Yeah. Um, but he is so massive, it's hard to imagine anything happening to him of any moment. 
No. But I do feel somehow mm -hmm. worried about, about his attitude, you know, that he would just let it transpire. Um, so, yes, okay. Um, so there's a change in the Indian when he sees that I see him and what he's planning, I guess. I mean, I recognize that he's a hunter. And, yes, I recognize, you know, I see everything about him. And almost it's like I caught him in uh, a, a play, Pierre, the Indian. It's almost like, oh, you, you, you got me. You got me. Good, yeah. Good, good, good. And so I can't play it out, or I won't play it out if you got me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, what do you find interesting about it? Well, I'm playing a different role in the dream than I thought I was. Right. right. What else? Um, well, um, what else? Well, I had seen the Indian as completely authentic. And, you know, like he was a hunter yeah. because he's hunting yeah. for his family or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't appear that that's the case. It appears that he was playing a role that he's not going to play when someone sees it's a role. No, no. When no, no, you no. See, huh? When I see it's a role, yeah. Yeah. Therefore, what role are you now playing in the dream? Waking him up to... That's right. Yeah. Then you're the hero. Okay, yeah. Right? This yes, is, yes. The hero joke. Yes. <clears throat> right? Oh, <laughs> So what was it like mm. when you saw that you got me, so now I won't be able to play it out? Well, you know, it's kind of in. It, I, Go ahead. And, well, just that um, it seemed like this chapter was over. Like it's like the and and I'm in the at the end of the dream. I'm turning to leave the scene with my companion. Yeah. Because yeah. we finished with it. Um, we've done our work. So if I'm the hero, I'm off to to, to do something else. Somewhere else. No. Yeah. We now have the dream. Wow, that's interesting. Um, I have another dream. I'm going to bring in no. tomorrow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> because anyway, anyway. I think it's my counterattack good, dream. Good, but, uh, good. That's all right. Uh, <clears throat> state of mind. What's it like? You've done our work. It's over, right? Well, um, it's let a me put it better. When he sees you, that's mm -hmm. the effect it has. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And that's from afar. You know, yeah. he just he gets caught out, and that's the effect it has. Yeah. And I, um, it, there's a sense of knowing that this scene has come to its natural closure, or whatever, or. Not natural. Not natural. Because this scene. He did it. Yes. Yes. In the right, he's not going to throw the spear at the bear. That that that's the bear is going to go on swimming. No. Yeah. Mm. Or all this beautiful yeah. <clears throat> power and uh, natural power.
see, when you're dealing with a dream that has so many states of mind and is a drama, you keep in mind the events, mm -hmm. you line up the states of mind, then you let these events in the dream recede mm -hmm. and you're now only focusing on these as as being connected mm. with these but not keeping the image in your mind mm. right. so then from that you then get a recollection always of meaning. And that's this. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Hmm. So this is this is always fun to do, right? Mm -hmm. You just have to take your time. And then it's as if you put a plastic sheet over the story and the only things that are going to be strengthened or highlighted will be the states of mind. Mm -hmm. And then you have the interaction between them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right? Mm And you can do that with arrows, the lines and arrows. Right. <clears throat> so now, uh, got this state? Mm -hmm. Right. He looks at you. So mm -hmm. now he can't play it out anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's an interesting state. It is. It's the result of your seeing in the dream. Mm -hmm. Seeing him, mm -hmm. seeing the whole story, mm -hmm. right? Um, what's that like? Well, I, I have to say I, I really liked it. It's like a kind of justice, mm -hmm. justice in it that it, that, um, that it didn't follow this destiny thing. No. But rather, it um, a better, a higher, a higher reality was able to be manifest. Uh, excellence, a higher excellent. Mm. Like something really important. It was as if something really important took place. Yeah, yeah. And that it was a better thing. It was a good. Yeah. And not, <clears throat> not just a normal. Oh, right, 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 right. Why are you having this dream? That is a really good question. What have you been doing with actions? Well, I have been trying to put my vision and words in, in such a manner as to help us as to benefit a situation myself included mm -hmm. the, where I'm at in a situation um, but this I think has its basis in the Parmenides group on Wednesday morning mm -hmm. so because um, some of the states me and the polar bear are in the scene mm -hmm in the morning mm -hmm. and um, the end of it there was an encounter with a friend that um, had this quality mm -hmm. or had the quality of sure. seeing the game calling the game sure. and it went much better because of it right. so this is graphically dramatically representing this curious game you do where uh, at the Parmenides oh. group oh. Although, and oh. although what I want to say is too that had I not had the dream, I wouldn't have put such significance in either part of it. Mm -hmm. You know. And this is saying, "Hey, you're missing." Hey, I'm missing the the it, greater. Yeah. I'm missing the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
It's yours. Thank you so much. Good job. Let me get a, something to drink for a moment. You can, everybody study it before? This one is. They're like movies unto themselves. Yeah. Okay, you have a car in this one, or a couple, a couple of fun ones. Yeah, you the money I gave you. I was just saying, I really like Eldar's dreams. Like they tend to be movies unto themselves, and they're entertaining. Like I'm often laughing before I go to the meeting, or I'm just laughing at the very story of the dream. Like I was laughing at this one as well. And there's either a girl or a car, or. Good job. Oh, there's another. There's a car in it. I tried to get in the car this time, it didn't didn't happen. No car. Couldn't couldn't find the keys. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I was at this girl's house, Irene, who I was romantically involved with. I was having a good time. Then for some reason she flipped and she wanted me to go. She decided she wants to end it. I was like, what? Okay. So then I'm trying to use a phone to check the times when I leave to catch a bus or something like that. I'm trying to call somebody, but then she wants the phone back. She wants me to leave. I'm trying to use her car, and she comes out of the house with a really big fake smile. She says she's going to call the police. <laughs> then I'm out there and her roommate comes and he's trying to comfort me. He tries to help me by taking, his re by taking a replacement key from the cellar. I go into the cellar with him and he finds the replacement key for the car. He's going to drive me. But by the time we get back to the car, Irene is back and she wants me to leave. I'm looking at some coins that I have, trying to see if it's enough for the bus. Then a bus appears, but the roommate is like, it's not a good idea, the bus, it, it doesn't even work. I'm like, what? I run to the bus so that I don't miss it. I ask the driver, are you going to the city? I'm trying to get to the Gold Coast. <laughs> He's, he says something ridiculous. What if I come in and it doesn't cost anything anyway? There are lots of weird and interesting characters on the bus. It starts moving. At one point, as the bus is moving, the driver jumps out of the bus and with a measuring tape, measures the front of a giant doggy house. He measures it on an angle, so he wouldn't even have gotten the right measurement. And then he jumps back into the moving bus and hits the brakes. Bill, yeah, what, what do you make of it? Um, the thing that stands out to me is that I don't ask any questions about what's going on. Mm. Like, um, this girl suddenly flips and we go from having a good time to her wanting me to leave. And I don't uh, ask why or what's going on. I just mm. Mm -hmm. say okay. And also when the guy tells me that the bus uh, doesn't work, I, I just ignore it and I run for the bus. Mm -hmm. So also... not What's similar about those two events, your state of mind? Both of them are dismissing kind of dismissing the elephant in the room. <coughs> yeah, but you see, uh, come on, what's... Uh, it's 
she romantically involved at first, and then she does this. <clears throat> You're having a good time, and she wants to go. What does that do, do to you? Well, I mean, I'm not, I don't like it. It's, it's a... Uh, More. It's sad. It's... Uh, I mean, it, it hurts. It hurts. It's... Um, yeah, sure. And again, you don't say anything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's painful. Painful, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. And you mentioned the bus. Come on, what was that like? S similar? He he says he tells me something about the bus, and it's like it, it seems it seems so almost ridiculous what he says that I don't pay attention to it or I ignore it I ignore it yeah right, right. <clears throat> so there are two kinds of ignoring going on aren't there yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, you don't say anything I don't, yeah right? In so what, what word would you put on that on on the first Does the word ignore fit or not? Um, I'd say like passive going along with it. That's good. Um, like surrendering to fate kind of <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, uh, interestingly enough, then, uh, uh, what's it like you're going to call police? Well, it's just it's just adding more. Um, it's just adding more pressure. I don't know. It's like um, it, it gets worse. Well, yeah. What kind of a roommate did she have? Male, female? Male. And now he's playing a role, right? Yeah, he's like helping me, trying to help me. Yeah. What's that like, he's trying to help you? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, it's, it's nice, but it's, I mean, it's kind of... Yeah, but look what he does. It's, it's like, it's like uh, damage control or something. Yeah, but then he takes it down in the cellar, right? Which is where you can expect to find your key, or his key to the car, right? He knows where she keeps the replacement key, and uh, it's like his trick to, um, to go and get that key uh, so that... For her, for her car? Yeah, for her car, so that he can drive me. What happens? Uh, she comes out and then, you know, she, she stops it. She stops it. Right, 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 right. And then the same thing? Well, it is her car, but... Hmm? It is her car, I mean. What, what? It's her car. Yes, but, so, but what's it like? Come on. It's, I mean, she it's, stops it. She stops it, yeah. She's just totally... She's just doing this. She's like, no, no, everything, no, leave. 
um, she's putting all the brakes on all the uh, good good go ahead she's um she's just cutting me off <laughs> she's okay. just totally cutting me off okay now we're back with the bus okay read that section third paragraph I'm looking at some coins that I have, trying to see if it's enough for the bus. Then a bus appears, but the roommate is like, it's not a good idea, the bus, it, it doesn't even work. I'm like, what? I run to the bus so that I don't miss it. I ask the driver, are you going to the city? I'm trying to get to the Gold Coast. Then he says something ridiculous like, what if I come in and it doesn't even cost anything anyway? So you have two people who are saying things that don't make any sense, right? The roommate and the driver. Yeah. Right? And what do you do in each of those cases? Well, the roommate I ignore and the driver I ignore as well. The and now, they, come on, there's a further story about this interesting driver and his bus. Come on. Yeah, in the middle of the drive, in the middle of the drive, he just, as the bus is moving, he jumps out uh, and runs up to this big doggy house and um, gets out a measuring tape and measures the side of it and he doesn't even do it right and then he jumps back into the bus find it interesting it's just ridiculous yeah but i mean it's like nonsense so far he gets a pretty interesting grade doesn't he? grade grade yeah yeah uh, z yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's um, would you notice the uh uh, at least you you are asking, <clears throat> are you going to go to the city? Gold yeah. Coast. Right? What's right. that like when you ask him that? Because that's the only thing you literally say in the dream, isn't it? Right. I mean, it's it's good. It's, 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 it's uh, normal. It, that's what you'd expect. But then I don't uh, follow up and I don't um, do anything with his response. I, like I, I, I may as well have just not asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That repeats itself throughout this whole thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Not saying, not finding out further information. Yeah, it does. Yeah. What's that like? Don't follow up. So you could go back over this and pick up the one that appears to be more critical. Well, um, with with the girl, I mean, okay. the, the, at least these other events are kind of lesser. Would be when she says leave or call the police or. It, it'll be the first, the very first. The uh, first one. That's it. The first one. Right. Right. Because right. it's just a totally sudden uh, 180. No. And it's like, it's just totally getting cut off. I mean, th this, this, actually, uh, this actually happened with this girl in, in real life. Um, this girl that I spent some time with, suddenly she just did that. Uh, and when I, so now when I, last time I tried to contact her, she just ignores me. And it's like, um, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, okay. When did you first discover there was something wrong with her? Um, From the beginning, let's go over it. Yeah. Like, 
probably like day two or three after I met her. Two or three? Like two days no, or one no, day no, after no, I met her. No, no. First day. First day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first day. Tell me about the first encounter you had with her, that's all. What did you see? Well, we met... The meeting was very spontaneous. Yeah. And um, what did I see? I mean, like, it was like, it was kind of a, it was kind of a roller coaster. Like, we connected very quickly and we got intimate very quickly. Uh, and then we separated and we didn't really communicate for like two days. What do you think of that? That's weird. Yeah. On and whose part? On her part. How about you? Because, well, yeah. Yeah, I was also... What did you see? Come on, two days you said no. Well, I, I was kind of doing this thing to her as well. Oh, um, when did you first notice that? Pretty much right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it looks like. Therefore, as you look at this, Well, it's kind of like... What did you ignore from the first encounter? The... Um, the, the kind of... Um, like... the periods of silence in between our meetings. What did that tell you? What did you say? Well, I saw something about her, which is that she relates to me in a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. um, it's like I was—I I called it like professional. It's—it's mm -hmm. it's almost like a, um, it's almost like we have some kind of business arrangement. Mm. It's very—it's very cold and clinical. Like when we're when we're together, it's really enjoyable and we have a great time. But, but then, in between our meetings, it's very like, as if we're... When did you first see that? Pretty much right away. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You walked into it. I'm trying to think just how soon I saw it. I'm trying to think just how soon I saw it. Mm. Well, I, I, th I think the probably the first most obvious one was um, the phone conversation or text conversation after our initial meeting. That was very um, cold. What did you say?
that she was cold. Yeah, indifferent. Indifferent. Hmm. You didn't follow it up. What you were saying, you didn't follow up. That's true. I kind of thought like maybe that's how it should be, or like it was like. That's what I want to hear. Go ahead. Say it again. <laughs> I thought like maybe that's how it should be, or um, maybe that's how this like casual dating thing is supposed to be. Um, like maybe I just didn't know how the game works. But you did see. Yeah, I mean it's it's, but you see, it's, it's obvious. But that's in contrast to the fact that you were very positively involved in, in intimacy with her. It's it's like it's black and white. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous how I mean yeah. But when you look at it, when I look at it that way, it's totally obvious that there's something wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that you ignored. That I ignored. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but still, for some reason, this is very strong. Like. Sure. I just maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I like that expression. Hot and cold. Hot and cold. Yeah. Yeah. Right, thank you. <laughs> By the way, who taught you that line? <laughs> That's where it should be. Hot and cold, hot and cold. That's what intimate relations are, right? Hot and cold. Who's saying that? Who's advice? <laughs> Whose view is that? <laughs> huh? my dad. Yep. Remember when? Well, the first first thing that comes to mind is his his many lessons where he's telling me about women and how yeah. <laughs> how how they're like because yeah. you could have asked him uh, uh, how do you understand the fact that they run hot and cold, Dad? Uh, what role are you playing in it? So this surfaces a good old Papa teaching about how to relate to women. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. The dream is surfacing it. He's a good teacher. I can't believe how much I, I did this with another relationship. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> In the other relationship, I was her. Ah, right. Yeah. Right. But maybe that's the way it should be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. okay. Pleasure. Just a backing track. Yeah, somewhere. Any more copies? Okay. Oh, that's a damn pity. I can just share with them. All right. Here. Pierre gets a dream boy, you know it's not going to be a real big challenge. Yeah. Do we do we need to read through it again? Um, we didn't we... read through it yet. Oh. See? I mean, I don't care. I, I, no, no, I the again. No. The again. Okay. Me, I must admit. Yeah. Any time, I'm going to go. It's a long day of activity. I heard about a concert. Some people called me up and asked me if I wanted to go, but I didn't want to. Some other people needed help at the same location. I end up there anyway. I think it was an area like Newport Harbor High School, but more spread out and park-like. 
they need help moving some stuff from one of the uh, for one of the bands or moving some stuff out of the way for one of the bands. I'm I end up borrowing a push cart and there's a band playing. I borrow it from the band, but I'm moving all this stuff for others. Again, it's kind of hard. The cart is heavy and the wheels are too small for the grass and the soft ground. I have to push it through the grass and over the bumps and slabs. I end up pushing stuff around for one of these bands. Okay. Go ahead. I get a phone call from some people who want to take me to a fair or something and, I want, to, and want to hang out with me and I don't do it again. As the day goes on, I end up backstage with the headline band and it's pretty cool. They are nice people. I really don't say much. I hang out with them. I think I help them move some stuff around, instruments and stuff. Gets better. The day keeps wearing on, it gets later, all of a sudden I decide to go get a ticket for the show, a cheapy ticket. I go to the ticket window, there are lots of weird, strange people, a festive hippie, hippie atmosphere. Girls in lighted wading pools and sexy outfits. They are kind of performance artists, part of an organization. There are a lot of people hanging out in front. I walk up to the tip, ticket window and the lady in the window kind of flips the little sign around and says, sold out. I kind of walk away. I see lots of strange people. I'm kind of dressed out. I have a vest on or something. I'm alone. I'm walking around trying to find my way around this campus. I just say, I'm going home. I'm a little disappointed, kind of feeling a little used. Someone comes running down the stairs from the buildings and they say, come on. They were one of those who called me earlier. They had come over after the fair. I guess they came over for the concert mm -hmm. afterward. It was a pretty hip concert. All the young people like it. It's a really popular band. The person who ran down the stairs said, come on, they're doing yoga up there. I was just, it was just one of the activities you could get involved in at this festival kind of atmosphere. I say no. I have spent the whole day helping out around here and nobody offered me a ticket or anything and they're sold out so I'm going to take off. They kind of look at me, maybe a little disappointed, but I'm real disappointed. So I go walking through this big campus around the corner here and there and end up where I started in the morning when I was helping out. I end up back where the band is and they're having fun doing Easter eggs with dyes and paper wrapping, colors and craft stuff. But I feel kind of alienated at that point and that's when I leave again. And that's when somebody comes down the stairs. It un it's unclear what happens. I was feeling kind of used and I leave the location. Good, good. Good. Would you read the uh, first two sentences? <clears throat> it was a long day of activity. I heard about a concert. What was that like at that moment when you heard about the concert and the dream? That's so back there. Let's see. Well, it started something going. I was, um... In the dream. Yeah, I don't know, in the dream. Uh, sort of, it was, it was more matter of fact, I'm sorry to say. Um, I think. Uh... Yeah, there's a concert. It's probably rock and good time. Um... I'm speculating, though. No, no, okay. Um, Try not to. Yeah. <clears throat> See, I heard about a concert. What did that do to you? What was that like? I kind of, oh yeah, I kind of, it, it, if nothing more, it, I just kind of lifted my nose up and sniffed the air. I was kind of like, hey, here's something to go on. Um, it was waking up and uh, waking seeing, up? seeing a direction. Um, waking up? I don't want to get into interpretation. What, what? It, it didn't have a lot of depth to it in terms of feeling content that I can remember. But it was uh, an alert to something that was good. I'm almost speculating there. Sure. Um. I want to see if I can get that state of mind. Uh, 
Could you just repeat what you said? Well, I heard about a concert. I think it was more interesting that the people called me up, and that's how I heard about it. That it was an invitation. Okay. And that's we got to go with that. I think. Okay. Yeah. What did it do to you then? Someone called you and told you that. Uh, and that was cool, but look what I did. I didn't want to go, and I wouldn't point to that if it didn't happen about four more times. Yeah, but originally it was cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it gets better. There's there's more there's more engaging situations yeah. like that. Now we're interested in uh, states of mind, <clears throat> and this whole thing is a study in states of mind. All right. Um, okay. First one. Um, Pushing around, pushing things around. Yeah, it is, I see this pattern of I reject some opportunity, then I offer help, and then I work, and that seems to repeat itself in each, yeah, it in each one of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and uh, what's it like when you go to get a ticket for the show? Oh, that was that was a, that was uh, uh, easy. Um, now I was having fun. I was easy. Not, yeah, and I didn't really feel like I was having fun with anybody, but I was having fun, and that was enough. Okay. Okay, same question. <clears throat> um, the festive hippie atmosphere, the girls, etc. Yeah, it was quite a party. Yeah, what was that like? Um, I was in it, but I was certainly detached from it. Uh, kind of walking through. No, oh, good, good, good. The yoga? Another great opportunity. And the dream, though. You're hearing it now. Come on. They're, they're doing yoga up here. Uh, yeah, it's a really good thing, and there's a lot of, um... What's it like at that moment? Well, it's amazing how I can not recognize good things like that. Sure, sure. Let's see, this is the second time you're getting a call. Or third. Right? And he says, the yoga. Hey, they're going to be doing yoga there. They're doing yoga up here. What does that do to you? You say it was a good thing. Go ahead. Um, the manner in which this was presented was really quite, um, there was a presence to it, and uh, which I really appreciated. The manner of the invitation yeah. had a certain attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Which was like? Well, uh, brilliant, spontaneous, um, and uh, sincere. Hmm? Spontaneous? And sincere. Pardon me? Brilliant, spontaneous, and sincere. Good. Hmm. And the effect it had on you? I, I talked my way out of this one, but I didn't go. I talked my way out. What is that well, like no, there I for mean, when I mean you said, I, I no, I, no, I have spent, etc. What was that like? Well, that's already... Um, you said you talked your way out of it. Yeah. What else? I said, no, I spent the whole day helping out around here. Nobody offered me a ticket or anything. And they're sold out, so I'm taking off. Well, it's, it's, it's that same, this whole paragraph's about being alone. And, and uh, some of the feelings. But I may not be going in the same direction you are. No, then you got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
on the Easter eggs? That's kind of a kick. Um, Same question. Everything here has a really fine quality to it. It's uh, they're all really neat things to do. Um, and I. But I feel alienated, even though, what? I'm sort of in them, but I'm not really in them. I don't. I, I don't get them. I don't, I don't pick up on it. I'm in it, but not. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, what do you find interesting about this dream and what you've said up to this point? Well, I like it. I'm very observant. I can be pretty hip to how things work. Um, uh, I, uh, it has a, a a real craft to it in the way it repeats certain things and points out these high, these opportunities that all have a... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's a cool you dream. You had a nice expression. You said, I talked my way out of it. What's that like? Story of my life. Um, a lot of what I do is kind of like flinching and uh, flinching, like I'm going to get um, slapped or flinching. something. Go ahead. Yeah. More. Um, that uh, I see something fine coming, and I look away from it right there in the moment every time. Um, I don't know how to engage it or something. Well, that's what I say. That's my excuse. I see it. It's fine. Sometimes I engage it. It's great. But then... Um, but a lot of the time, I, I, I know that moment's coming, and oh, oh. I miss it. Well, I like that expression. I talked my way out of it, right? which is like being alone. Right? Um, say more about that, <clears throat> that expression. Oh, well, um... But it describes something, doesn't it? I talked my way out of it. Uh, what does that mean for the whole dream? There's some sort of evil dogma. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's probably a logos behind it. Hmm. There's probably a... Um, so it must have some power. Yeah. Right, to, to do this, to talk your way out of it. Yeah, must have some power. What's it like? Come on. Mm. Has the power? Convincing? No, oh, uh, yeah, convincing would be more. Like, come on. Putting it mildly. Uh, almost uh, a, um, a risk, um, as, as a demanding. Um, uh, mm, um, it really has control. Hmm? It has a lot of control. It has a lot of control. Yeah. Right. Yes, it does take control through this whole dream. It takes the control. Yeah. To, what? Like you're holding back the horse. Yeah, not so bad, you know. Right. I get out there, but um, that's control. But it, it's it does have a um, it's, it's still, a proud a proud still, state, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got a certain clarity to it now. That has clarity to it. Come on, right now. I mean, I'm seeing it in a new way. Uh, is there a proud state to that? Is there a what proud? No, I don't think so. Um, No, it's not that. Well, it's got power, it's convincing, commanding, a lot of control to it. No, it's something that uh, I would like uh, not to function Yeah, apart from me. that, apart from that. Uh, if you could paint yourself in this state, come on. 
How would someone else see you in that state? Come on. Oh, it's not pretty. No, no. no. You may not see Shattered. it. No. Do they see it? Uh, it's got to be, it's probably communicated quite clearly. Whether they recognize it or not, and don't find some other way of overlooking it, but uh, yeah, it's out there. They have to overlook it. Pretty much. Right, right. Because several people are trying to break through. Yeah. Right? They have to ignore it. And still offer it, right? Because that's what's going on. Yeah. So talking your way out of it has a certain power. It's convincing, it's commanding, it's a lot of control in it, it's clarity. It's a high state of mind, apart from its appearance and what it does. Okay, yeah, it's got a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, and you're doing it, see? You're talking your way out of it. It's convincing. What kind of voice does it have? Um, it's too sharp for that. Sharp? Too sharp for that. It doesn't even really have a voice. Yes, it does. It's something I need to see, but I don't... Yes, it does. Uh, it's just some ugly bitch and some mean old son of a gun. Pardon? Um, no, I, I know it's these people teaching me to stay out of their business. Um, and I just don't know when and where I learned it. Yeah, yeah, that's good, good, good. Yeah. It has a certain style if you can't describe the voice. What's the style? Uh, As if, what kind of person is talking? There could be some shame in it. There could be uh, some uh, anger in it. Um, there is definitely disappointment. Um, or feigned disappointment, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, the last part? Feigned. It, it was feigned. It, it was all an act. I know that. Uh, you know, trying to yeah. dislodge myself from yeah. it is yeah. worthwhile. Yeah. But at the time, there was disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, this is very important. You know, this is uh, these are together. Yeah. Right. And uh, see. So, it's like walking away from it. You still feel fine walking away from it. Right? You use the word fine several times. It's good enough. Good enough. Right? It's good enough to do what? Uh, to walk away. Walk away. Maybe treasure a few small successes on my own. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like this is good enough. Yeah. yeah. So, like that's uh, this. See. Yeah. And it's got power, and it's convincing, right? Yeah. It's been with you for a long time. Yeah, I lost count. Yeah. Oh. See now, your job is to see if you can keep these four things together, right? Okay. The voice. Right? The power, right? the effect, the conclusion.
like I say, it's not the most elegant picture. Um, so, cover the uh, back. One, uh, two, three, and four. Conclusion. Yeah, I, that's, that's uh, pretty uh, much the right order. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who are you, imitating? Mm, I don't think I'm imitating. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Who is? One, two, three, four. Who is that? Who are you imitating? Suffering father. No, you're imitating. Yeah, he had a different. He had a different style, but there's yeah. there's, there's similarities. Yeah. 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 Outwardly, he may have a different style, yeah. but emotionally, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is yeah. it possible you can recall just one event when he appeared this way? Because it's just appearing this way. Not going to be many words. Mm. Once at the front door arguing with an encyclopedia salesman. Um, and then watching him in other arguments. And what did you say? Um, how I don't know the the, the 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 strength of that that made him very angry. He was an angry guy, and he 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 loved to argue, and uh, uh, yeah, he loved to argue. And it, but it it kept him alienated. I don't think he had a lot of close friends. No, no, got a lot of power. Um, sure. Yeah, it was it was powerful enough to take him down. No, no. At least he's showing feelings. Yep. Right. He broke through his silence, his indifference. Mm hmm. He emerged. Uh, yeah, briefly. Okay, but nonetheless, in front of you, he came out this way. Yeah. Oh. That becomes a model. Until we challenge it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. it's not it's not the most you know, deeply philosophical dream, but it does suggest that there's places yeah. to look. Yeah, well. See, because all of these these things are things that they're good things. Right? I'll be damned if I don't do a few of them. Yeah. So you're, so you're keeping loyal to the teaching. Mm -hmm. yeah. How could you uh, challenge it? Just doing that good stuff. Just quit. Well, That's yeah, all. that would be interesting. Um, Just it's up to you. Want to imitate him? Imitate him. That's the most he could show. Well, parts of it, yeah. Mm. No. But you're having this now, see? This is a review. Right? review. It's important that you know that this is coming up for you to look at now. 
Yeah, on, on the one hand, I'm totally challenging this whole thing, you know, as yeah. best I can every day. Yeah. But uh, on the other hand, and it's, this it's is nice saying, to see this it. is what you have to challenge. Yeah. <laughs> nice schematic. Good. So you're doing it. Yeah. You're trying it. Good. 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 Well, thanks. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. 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 Are these yours? Okay. Let's do his. It has, uh, he's got four lines. <laughs> Want to pass them around? Mm -hmm. Could I borrow your hat? No, it's huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it needs mentioning, but it's like 10.30. So are we, are we considering just do, simply doing dreams and not doing elements? It oh. looks like we're going that way. And that's fine with what me. Time I thought I would note the time. No. What time is it? 10, sorry, 10.30. Oh, we'll do this. Um, uh, can you do this tomorrow morning? Huh? I think we Huh? I've already explored it myself some, so I don't mind waiting. Well, where'd you go? I will be here okay. tomorrow morning, but I don't mind waiting for another day. So. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, and, uh, a note to everybody, I just realized that uh, the feeling at the end, guilt, shame, whatever, that was actually my reflection after waking up. Okay? But it, when I wrote it down, That's good. it seemed like it was in the dream, but I realized... Okay, That's a dream. Okay. okay. What do you say? So, uh, let me, you want me to read it? Read it? Yes, right. please. I was planning some type of endeavor with a few people. John, the shady, meth-selling old truck driver I used to know, says to me, You're bringing trouble around. You're going to get everybody in trouble. We don't want your kind around here. That irked, him, irked me, and I told him off. And that's where the dream ends. And then, so that's how I felt in the dream. I felt like I wasn't doing anything wrong, and I felt like this scumbag was telling me something that what, you know, all it did is make me mad, and I was like, shut up, you know? But then, when I woke up, for some reason, I reflected on w w this type of endeavor, and I don't know what I can't remember what I was planning to do. But then, in my mind, I was like, "Oh, he was probably right. I probably was going to start some trouble with that endeavor, and that that made me feel this guilt, shame." And I felt this feeling uh, of not being accepted and of prejudice against me. Uh, you know, like I was the black sheep of some sort. Uh, so that's weird. Why don't you just uh, pick up this dream with John? Uh, John? Read it? Read it? Yeah. John, this shady, meth-selling, old truck driver. That's right? enough. You got the picture? Yeah. What does that mean in the dream about John? He's just a dirtbag. You know, he's like a, a guy that, uh, he's a con artist, dirtbag, sells speed. You know, he's, this, he's uh, in his late 60s, old truck driver. 
Uh, what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, what? I don't respect the guy. Go ahead. Uh, he's he's uh, he's burnt me before, you know, and uh, he's he's gotten over on a lot of people. You know, he's a, just a shady character. He fired me before. No, he burned me like uh, we uh, we had a partnership, you know, and he uh, basically, well, they didn't rip me off, but got the best out of it. Just pulled some shady moves. Rip me off. Pretty much. Good. Okay. Not all the way, but. No, okay. <laughs> got more than some you should. Yeah. 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 When he said that in the dream, what did it do to you? It was like, uh, I, I stood my ground uh, emotionally, like I felt like I didn't, I wasn't doing anything wrong, and I, look, I was looking down on him like, you know, there, here's this scumbag just trying to uh, you know, make me out to be something I'm not. Or, uh, you know, uh, try. He's the type of guy that, like, uses rumors to get, you know, to have uh, a competition to, you know, better his yeah. competition yeah. with people, yeah. right? Talks about yeah. people. What do you make of the fact that what he said irked you? Uh, well, because it was like a. It, it, it was like an insult. Well, I don't know if it was an insult, but it was. A, well, you know that that would irk anybody, right? If what? what? That would irk anybody, I imagine, right? I don't know about that. I'm just in your dream. Okay. Well, he says he doesn't want my kind around there. I'm bringing trouble. You're gonna get everybody in trouble. We don't want your kind around here. So that's not a good feeling, right? That that that's either it's gonna make you. No. Mad yeah. Do you notice that you're separating what you know about him from what he says? Yeah, well, you know what? I don't know if, if I got that irked, but it was more like, shut up, old man, you know, like, type of thing. It wasn't like, it didn't, I, it irked me a little bit, yeah, but it was more like I, I just told him off, you know, and I, I didn't, it wasn't. Okay, look at those, those are. It, it irked me. If it irked me means that you were come on upset, right? Upset. But, yeah, but not in a uh, I think he, that person would upset me in any way, just the sight of him because of our history, right? So him saying that to me and me being mad at him anyways because I don't like the guy, you know, uh gave me that irked effect. But then I was like, you know, shut up, or whatever, you know, and I just, I didn't. So you have there, that there was a shame and guilt that was associated with that too. But that's, what I realized is that, uh, I wrote this like late in the day, I didn't write it right when I woke up. And at that moment, that guilt and shame seemed to be a part of the feeling in the dream. No. But in later reflection, just now actually rereading this, I realized that in the dream I didn't have any of those feelings. When I woke well, up... Well, right well, when, well then, we want it to be true to the dream. What yeah. Do you, what do you want to take out? Huh? What would you like to take out? The, from, uh, I told him shame off. And guilt? Well, yeah. The shame that's and out. guilt. That's out. That's a reflection. What... It was weird because when I woke up, I was like, what was I doing? What was that endeavor? And then I was like, what, was he right for saying that? Was I actually doing something that was wrong that, you know, was going to get everybody in trouble? Uh, right? And I couldn't remember the endeavor. But in my mind, it wasn't even a question. When I woke up, I automatically assumed that he was right. And even though okay. I had this uh, kind of proud above him demeanor in the dream, 
when I woke up instead, I, I reflected uh, on myself like, maybe uh, I need to pay attention, you know, maybe I, I'm, I, I'm feeling too cocky like, and maybe I was doing something wrong. And he was right for saying that. And that made me feel that shame and guilt, you know? Like, Sent it right on his back. Yeah, but it, it was... These are reflections later. Yeah, these are reflections. But we want to know whether it was true for the dream, you see. No, the, in the dream, I didn't feel any of that. In the dream, I was like, I just felt like uh, no respect for some guy. And I, I felt like it was his type of con you know, to say that about me, to make me look a certain way or make me feel a certain way because that's the kind of guy that he is, you know? He, he talks a lot of rumors about people. Then it worked. But not in the dream because in the, mean, in the dream it worked. How did it work in the dream? Because yeah, I got irked? Yeah. It irked you, right? You got upset. There, there was a irking going on, but I think the main emotion was just to tell him off, you know, to, to, to I kind of blew it off. It, 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 I didn't show the irk, you know, it wasn't like I, uh, you know, cursed at him or anything, but... I... Same question. Why would you have to blow him up if you know that's what it is? And the dream. Yeah, I, the, you're right. I've reacted. There was a rea some type of emotional reaction, yes. Oh, what caused you to change? <laughs> <laughs> what got you to change at that moment? No, because even blowing him off, I rea it wasn't like I just walked right by. It was like there was an interaction, and I was like, you know, he got... I engaged somehow, even if it was slightly, I, or you're just emotionally, even if I didn't show it, there was, he affected me. Uh, but it, wa it wasn't, okay. I, at that moment, I didn't feel like I was doing anything wrong, though. What was weird is that when I woke up, Pardon, I... You have to stay in the dream. Okay, let's stay in the dream. Either you weren't... Either Right, uh, insulted or upset or irked by, by him, uh, but you blew him up. What does that say? That he got to you and Yeah, he got to him? me, yeah. Yeah, not very bad, but it did, yeah. <laughs> well, on a lever from one to ten, it was like maybe, you know, a, I don't know, like a four or something, you know? Yeah, it got, it got, it got uh, yeah. How would you describe what you're going through trying to grasp the meaning of this dream? Do you see what you're going through? Yeah, I'm, I'm having trouble uh, not... The, 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 my reflection upon waking up really did something to me because now I'm reflecting on that. And it, and it, you know, uh, because I have that, you know, where I somehow feel like I'm doing something wrong sometimes, even if I don't, or I feel like I'm uh, not accepted, right? Uh, and it's just weird that upon waking up, that's automatically what I accepted, you know, that maybe he was right. You know, this dirt bag, you know, I'm going... Oh, maybe, you know, I was too cocky in the dream. You know, maybe there was something in what he said. Was I doing something wrong? What is this endeavor? I, I'm sidetracking. I'm out of the dream. But it, it's, it, but it was very, it, it, you know, to me it was very powerful that, you know. I don't mind, okay. but now you're dealing with something else. Right. Okay, so get me back on track. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think about the way you are reacting to someone whose judgment you make of them? Finish it. it. 
I don't have any respect for it. You know, he's a dirtbag, and uh, I am. Uh, yeah, I don't. Even, well, I don't even know why he would be. In, I haven't talked to. The, I haven't seen the guy in like five years, right? Like we left. It's just a dream. Yeah, in the dream. So yeah, I'm. Uh, <coughs> well, what, 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 I'm wondering what else I could have done. You know, I, I, uh, I could uh, to not be affected emotionally in any way. I guess I would have had to remember my opinion of him, right? And uh, and then I wouldn't react at all. I guess maybe I don't know. It, it. Why are you having this dream? Huh? Why are you having this dream? That's what I'm. Uh, that was the big. That's the big. Uh, uh, It's like, uh... When was the last time you uh, blew someone off? Oh, just this weekend. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what? Uh, and I was totally right, you know? They were just being dirt, a total dirtbag. And I, but somehow I like, I, I, uh, you're doing it. That's I recycled doing. it. Like I could have just like, okay, you know, you're a dirt bag, whatever. But I kept like trying to like find some, I don't know what I was trying to find. I just like engaged in like the emotion of being irked about it. Right. That's yeah. Dream. That's what I did. I was that's like, the dream. oh, I'm irked. How cool. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, that's the dream, right? Yeah. So, and then, so... So you're doing it, this is telling you what you're doing. What I did, yeah, because what I could think just, of that? that, uh, that I, uh, well, it's weird because I had, I, I got into dreams uh, for like a couple months where I was dreaming every night, I've been writing them all down, and then I didn't dream for like a month, for, like no dreams. And then, uh, this is one of the first dreams I had. Last night I had a bunch of dreams, for the first time in a long time. So, uh, do what, what do you make of the fact that this dream is, is a picture of what you're doing in your life? Yeah, it, 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 it's a good uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, you're doing something, finish it. Uh, I, well, that you need to do or don't? Yeah, that's not to my benefit, right? Yeah, that's not to my benefit, right? I could, uh, I guess I need to be more confident in being right, right? When I'm right and the, I'm taking the opinion, it's not even the opinions, I'm giving too much uh, account to people that I don't respect, I think, right? Like, what do you think of that? Stop, stay there. I think it has to do with this... Uh, I agree with you. What do you think of that? Say it again. I'm giving too much account to these people that I don't respect. Mm. And that means you're staying in, in engaged with them. Well, they come and go. It's not... Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. What, yeah, even even if they when they come and go, when they come, it could be a lot more short-lived than I, I, I let it be. Oh. Is it costing you something? Yeah, yeah, it cost me my whole weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's costing you something. Yeah. What's it cost you? All come on. Huh? Enjoying the, the good, the, yeah. uh, the, you know, like, it okay, takes time those, and people, effort. those people happen, but you don't have to, uh, I can learn to uh, disengage quickly. Right? Yeah. Let them be what they are, and you be your what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Ah, good. Want to share it? Oh, this is it. Yeah. Oh, good. It's the other side. Yeah. I was wondering. It's shorter. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm saying to myself. You had another same thing. Thank you. Huh? I had okay, go ahead, read it. Uh, I'm, I might have, can I read that one, please? Because I, okay. Uh, I'm just in the dream talking about the dream last night. I end up waiting for something to happen, uh, for something for me to dream, for me to have something to reflect on. I was like, here I am in the dream. What is the content of the dream? What is there for me to explore? I'm waiting, thinking, did I miss something? Did I have a dream that I don't remember? Again, nothing happens in the dream other than me waiting, wondering if I missed something or not. I'm waiting, waiting for something to happen. Yeah, would you read that last uh, again? Um, nothing happens. Again, nothing happens in the dream other than me waiting, wondering if I miss something or not. And I'm waiting, waiting for something to happen. Yeah, yeah. What kind of state of mind is that? I explored this dream on the airplane for a while, and it's got like two poles to it. And one of them is like I'm eager. And I'm what? I'm eager. Eager. And attentive. More. And then the other side is I'm like angry and impatient. Because like nothing's happening. Like it seems like there's some people and I and we're sitting around. We just got done reflecting on my dream. And we like don't know where to go with the dream. And we're like, let's see where the dream takes us. And then we're sitting for the dream to happen and like nothing's happening. And... I'm waiting for, it's like waiting for direction, looking for the dream, look, I'm looking in the dream for direction, and so I'm kind of like, excited, yeah, and... Yeah. I want to stay in the dream, okay? Uh, what is this like, in the dream? Nothing is happening. Yeah. Uh, it's annoying me. I'm getting annoyed, like, in the dream. Yeah, okay, okay, that's true. No, but oh, what I, I mean, I was empty. I was empty of thought. More, like more. I wrote this down too. Uh, no content. Nothing to analyze. I was open. I had no, no thoughts on my mind at all. Um. Again, um, what effect did that have? Come on. What effect did it have? Like nothing has happened. What was annoying? Well, two things. One is I, I got kind of like impatient. Go ahead. You know, Go ahead. I was impatient. I wanted something to occur. And then the other thing I started to do was like wonder if I had missed something. Which is what came up in the dream that we had explored the night before. 
kept wondering, was waiting for something to happen. Something was supposed to happen in the dreams, and it didn't happen. I was waiting there. There it is, the dream. Which I had this dream the night after exploring that dream. Oh, okay. Good. All right, so this is the state of mind, uh -huh. right? And now let's go back to the content. The content of the dream. It's empty of thought, no content, open, no yeah. thoughts on my mind. Right. Yeah, more? Just looking. What, what? Looking. Look, uh, without what? Uh, looking without anything to see, or without, there's no content. No object. Um. Well, what do you make of that? Well, for a while, I kept getting caught up in like the drama of the dream, which was like I was waiting for something to show me the direction. And then it struck me, that's a pretty nice state to be in. Um, like once, you know, like it's not um, a, I, the annoyance and the impatience, it's because I think something should be coming. Like I expect, again, I expect something to happen. And I'm expecting to have a dream that's going to help clear up. Yeah, what did you just say about it? Maybe it was something that was... Oh, it was great. It was huh? good. It's, it seems like a pretty good state to be in. Why do you say um, pretty... Uh, why? Uh, well, I mean, okay, say it again. Looking at it itself, being empty of thought and no content and nothing to analyze, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that state. It's Oh, it's, nothing wrong with it? Yeah. Uh, it's well, just watching, like... Well, you're watching. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what do you make of that story? That's Well, at that point, you could... You could see something. But what do you mean, what do I make of it? Like, how do I... Um... Hey, lots of people... Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a no, watching, yeah. right? Yeah. In terms of the dream, I was waiting yeah, for yeah. a dream we, to that's have. That's the reaction. I, uh -huh. We just want to stay on that content. Well, that stuff was in the dream, just I stuff agree. on the left, so... Yeah. Uh, that stuff you mean this side? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. Sure, that's your reaction. Okay. Uh, what else do you want to ask me about the right-hand side? Well, Looking, uh, watching, anything? Just one, one question, you know. Uh, um, <clears throat> Where does this come from? Wonder if I've missed something? Something is supposed to happen? I am... Like, are these thoughts consistent with this? Um, they appear so, but no. I don't think they should be. There's mm. nothing that would put them together other than somebody's reaction to that state on oh, the right hand side. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing's supposed to happen when you're no, watching. Do I get uh, the sense from you that this is looking more positive than you... Oh, when I, I captured that on the plane, like I was wondering, like... That that is positive, that the right side is... Oh, it's, you haven't... Yeah. yeah, oh, because this is positive. Well, I said good. It's a oh. good state to be in. Uh -huh. If that's positive, then what do you make of all of these statements? Uh... Bogus? I mean... Horse manure? Pardon? Like, <laughs> what, what? Horse manure? Crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. works. In other words, this stuff is interfering with this. Yeah. Definitely. So, like, it's important to know where this, this came from. 
I'm wondering about that. I don't know if I've ever come across these words before. Like, in all the scenes, I, I don't remember. I don't remember well, wondering. Stay, stay with this. Stay with these two. When did you have the dream? The night after my last dream exploration. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, what's the state Two like? weeks ago. Right, the state of mind. You got one for me? Um, unsettled, um, impatient, yeah, like fidgety. I get the, like fidgety. When? What do you mean? When, when did it occur? When, when did that, when was the last experience of this in your life? In, um, I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. Oh, then, as far as you know, there is no recent no, memory yeah. of either, being in either of these two states. Oh, I think I've been impatient and annoyed, that's for sure. Oh, could you uh -huh. recall any of them? Like when I'm late to work in the morning because my daughter won't get her butt out of bed. Okay. <laughs> I'm impatient then Okay. And annoyed. Uh, and nothing is happening towards getting going and leaving. Uh, so, yeah. Um, See, what we're doing is looking for examples of this, uh -huh. right? Right. Then we want to add this to that. See? The question of did I miss something? Yeah. So that we can have them together. See, we're building. If you can give us examples of this, mm -hmm then add that and this together. Now, what events do you think you could describe? Um, because our hypothesis is, from a stream, is that when this occurs, when these two come together, mm -hmm. They're blocking you from something important mm -hmm. that should allow it to go on. I would probably say, again, the dream explorations of that night mm -hmm. and my own. Like, I was annoyed at the people that were going through the dreams because I felt that they were skirting the dreams mm -hmm. and the questions that were being asked. Mm -hmm. And then it, after I got that, I did wonder, well, did I miss something? Is there something in the dream that I didn't see? Is there something that I'm not seeing now? Now, I curtail that with some compassion when I'm like, because I know myself going through dreams, I do the same stuff. Uh, but I was wondering, I was think I was looking for something more from the dreamers and that were presenting yeah. their dreams. Yeah. 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 If so, it's blocking you from seeing something. Whatever's there to look at. Rather significant. Because this kind of state is, what is that called? Um, I call it openness, watching, like... Uh, David, uh, what kind of state is this? I think it's a Korean, uh, Sam at, Sam Adi, Sam Adi. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah? It's Those are somebody. wonderful states, yeah. <laughs> I, I, just to be honest, I, I, I guess I get kind of bored with that state in the sense like I want some more meaning. <laughs> like, He's got this, he wants more meaning. He wants meaning. Well, in that state of mind, he certainly will find it. 
Well, because at the beginning of the dream, we're sitting around and we're looking to the dream for more direction, like content. Oh. <laughs> All dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise to deliver Proclus when I go home tonight. I'll line them up and I'll give them out tomorrow morning. All right? That's great. Sure. Okay. I'm good with that. Absolutely.